After living in the UAE for 19 years, I packed my bags and moved to Turkey. At first, it was for a few months to a year just to check it out and get a feel. I had no idea what it was actually going to be like. But now it's been three years and I'm not really looking to go anywhere else. So in this video, you're going to learn why I left the UAE and I moved to Turkey. Assalamu alaikum, I'm Amin, an internet business guy, coach, and author of this book on Islamic masculinity, and I live here in Istanbul. In this video, I'm going to cover the three main reasons why I left UAE to move to Turkey after 19 years there, even though I knew it very well and it was very comfortable. And I'm expecting this is going to help loads of Muslim men around the world who are thinking of moving to a Muslim country, probably from the West. And I'm going to give you a big bonus reason why I left in the end, but let's get started with reason number one, which is lack of community. So I pretty much grew up in the UAE. I had friends from school and all of that. But one thing that was very normal there is that every two, three years, these friends would just leave. Their parents had come, they worked, and they got enough cash stacked up and they just left the country. Now, of course, this affected my friend circle and it meant that a few years ago when I moved to Turkey, I actually had no friends left in the city that I grew up. All my friends had left the country. Now imagine this happening on a bigger scale, the scale of an entire country, where people are coming, staying for two years, three years, four years, and then they're leaving once their pockets are filled. What this means community-wise is that no one is bothered about forging relationships, building community, doing stuff together, and really committing and investing in the place. And of course, on top of that, I wasn't living in one of the bigger cities like Dubai or Abu Dhabi, so that would be a reason as well as to why I didn't get to know too many people. I had just had my first son and I didn't want that for my kids or for my family to grow up in that same way. Growing up without a sense of community, without a sense of being able to rely on people who are similar to you, that have the same values and are on the same wavelength as you. Another reason it was hard to find community is that in the UAE, people tend to take the shortcut of just sticking to people from the country they came from. But as for me, I'm in quite a unique situation where I'm not from any specific country. I have a bit of a mixed culture. And so I get along and share the same kind of values and mindset as very few people. So it's hard to kind of find those people over there. Also, the type of people that share my mindset, they often don't go to UAE for a lot of reasons that maybe we can get into another time. So going to Turkey, I was thinking, firstly, Turkey is 95% Turks. So they've got that permanency that will allow them to feel the confidence to invest and build their communities, of course. And even the foreigners, mostly Arabs who are in Turkey, they're sticking around. They're either refugees, they can't go back to where they came from, or they're enjoying it and they're staying there. People are not coming to Turkey to work, make money and leave. In fact, it's quite hard, especially as a foreigner, to come here and find work. So people who come here, they're coming for other reasons. Lifestyle reasons, stability reasons, freedom reasons, many reasons. They're coming here a lot of the time because they got citizenship and therefore it's now their country or they really cannot return to their country. So they're looking for somewhere permanent where they can make their base now. So I was looking for more community in Turkey and I can say that definitely is true. People are more willing to invest here. You find opportunities to invest in community, do activities, do charity work here that you wouldn't find in the UAE. And most people here, they've got an investment and a long-term mindset when they're here. However, a reason that I left UAE was to get more stability in Turkey and that actually did not work out well. And that was number two reason why I left UAE. Growing up in UAE, I never knew if my dad's work contract would get renewed, which means I never knew if I would be in UAE for another year or not. Now imagine having that instability, not for one year, not for two years, but for 19 years of your life, constantly not knowing whether you'd stay for five years, 10 years, or even have to leave that very year. Even when I was older and I set up a company and got my own visa in the UAE, it was a three-year visa which had to be renewed. Now it's two years actually. And the paranoid person in me always thought that there was a chance that it might get rejected when I was trying to renew. Not to mention that to keep my company registered in the UAE, it was costing about £5,000 or $6,000 every year. And I was kind of okay with that, to be honest, when I was single. But when I had a proper family, I was looking for more stability than that. To be able to put a stake in the ground and say, look, this is my place for the next 10, 20 years. I wanted somewhere I could be confident investing in and finding others who are coming there and investing and in being there for the long term too. Now, when you're thinking long term, Turkey actually is a bit more stable because you have the option of permanent residency or even citizenship. But in UAE, you would never get the option for those things. You get more the option of renewing every two or three years your investor visa, as long as you keep paying the fees, of course. So yeah, UAE has a more reliable immigration system in terms of you know that if you just follow the rules, you pay your renewal fees, you're probably going to get renewed every time. But Turkey is not really a country that needs immigrants like the UAE, and therefore there's less stability in being able to renew it every single time, even though until now I've not had an issue. So I moved to Turkey looking for that stability, but right now I don't feel like I've found it at least. 
Although I do believe deep down that if you really want to stay in a place, you'll always find a way. And a lot of people, they gave up too easily and they left before they even had their visa rejected or anything. They went back to the West or wherever they came from. And I don't think that's the mindset to have if you're investing in really staying in the Muslim world. But even with stability, there's no point if I didn't get the third thing that I was looking for moving to Turkey. And that is a normal lifestyle. And let me explain. I want my kids to grow up in what I would consider a normal way, which is kind of how UAE was in the 90s and early 2000s, where you can play in the street. There isn't rules and regulations for absolutely everything. You can slaughter your own sheep on aid. You can actually walk places instead of everything being by car. And the food you eat is actually grown near you in the same country, at least, and not brought in from every country of the world. It's just more normal. And I think that gives a much better upbringing than the very regulated and just boring malls and restaurants that you always end up in in the UAE. I swear the vibe there was always, let's go cafe, let's go restaurant, let's go cafe, let's go restaurant, let's go mall. That was all it was. And there are quite a few activities to do in UAE, but I found them to be very expensive or just hard to find other people to do them with. And now for the bonus reason. Now, I wasn't moving to Turkey for this reason. I knew that Turkey was cheaper than UAE, but it wasn't like my main reason for moving. But the big bonus reason moving to Turkey is that it's way cheaper than UAE. In UAE, you need at least about £3,000, $3,500 to live minimum. But in Turkey, you're fine with about £1,000. So that's £2,000 that you are saving every single month. And that really adds up. And not to mention that things are cheaper to do. So you can do more activities like shooting, like horse riding, like all of this stuff. So that's a really nice bonus, being able to save more money because I'm often thinking about the long term and thinking about, okay, if things got really bad income wise, could I still stay here? Would it be okay? And in the UAE, the amount that you spend every month means that you would question more whether I'll be able to keep this up no matter what. Whereas when you're living in a cheaper country, you feel like, yeah, I could probably keep this up no matter what, inshallah. So the paranoid side of me just prefers that more. But now, if you're interested in moving to a Muslim country, the biggest barrier for you is probably money. How would I make it while I'm over there? And so for that reason, I found an amazing shortcut that you should be implementing right away. To learn about that, watch this next video right now to discover the shortcut.